Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made my faux crepe paper fiddle leaf plant. So I originally really wanted a fiddle leaf plant, but because I don't have like the strongest green thumb, and as you can see, I have a fur child here and also a human child, um, and I really can't trust them around plants. I also didn't want to spend like a hundred bucks on a faux plant, so I figured, you know, I have some crepe paper in my craft room. I found this branch that was outside of my house, and I already had the pot and some of like the, the raffia at the bottom, so I figured, let me attempt to make an actual plant out of what I already have. Okay, so to make the leaf of the fiddle leaf plant, I am going to use crepe paper. I have linked two sources down below in the description box. One is from Leah Griffith, and I think she has like amazing crepe paper. And then another one is just like some generic brand, which is a little bit cheaper if you want to go that route. So to prepare for the leaf, I cut all of my crepe paper into various sizes of rectangles here. You don't have to be exact, that's the fun part about this. Um, and then I went ahead and I fold all of them in half. As you can see, I am folding perpendicular to the grain of the crepe paper. If you look really closely, you can see this little grain line kind of like on wood. So next, I open up the paper and I apply a thin layer of Mod Podge on one side of the fold. And then I take a floral wire and I place it right in the middle and I kind of align it so that it's about three quarters way up the, um, the rectangle. So I take the dry side and I press it over the Mod Podge and I also kind of just run my finger on top of the floral wire so that it, it really stands out. So then I just set it aside so that it could dry. Um, I let it dry for about 24 hours. I think you can get away with three or four hours. And uh, I repeat this whole process another, I don't know, 30, 40, maybe 50 times. Keep in mind to vary the sizes of the rectangle because the fiddle leaf is not, you know, one uniform plant. So, um, you know, you're gonna need some bigger ones and some smaller ones. So that's what I did. Okay, so once it is completely dried, it's now to trim up the paper so that it actually looks like a fiddle leaf. So the best thing to do is to actually get a reference photo and follow along with the image that you printed out. Um, I think that's the best way to go about it, but of course it doesn't have to be exact because it is a plant and not everything in nature is perfect and exact. So for my leaf, right at the bottom of the stem, I have it really tapered out and then as I get to the top of the leaf, it gets a little bit bigger and I just repeat that another 20, 30, 40 times. Okay, one last little detail that I wanted to add to my plant to make it look like a real faux plant. Um, I wanted to create the little shoots that is coming out in the middle of the branch so it looks like a new leaf is forming. So what I did was I took some scrap crepe paper and I just roll it really, really tightly. And um, I made sure that the middle, the center part is a little bit longer than the outer parts. And then I trim the bottom down to get a nice flat bottom. And I just use a glue stick to keep the paper from unraveling. Okay, next I use more scrap crepe paper and I cut out tiny little leaves, about two or three of them, and I just attach it to the spiral. And that's it for the fiddle leaf shoot. Um, then I also cut out some miniature tiny little fiddle leaves so that it can go around the shoot when I apply it to the tree branch. I'll show you and it'll, look, it'll make a little bit more sense, but it's nice to have some of them on handy as well. So I went ahead and just cut out a couple like that. And now, time for the branch. Um, I got this from my swamp willow and uh, we had a really big storm one day and this branch just flew off of it, so I figured I'd drag it into the house. As you can see, this is fairly large, so I did end up trimming down the branch quite a bit to get the shape that I want for my plant. Okay, so first things first, the branch doesn't have any roots, so obviously it's gonna have some structural problem when it comes to staying up straight. So um, I am going to create a base for it, and I ended up taking all of my Amazon boxes and I cut it out into two inch strips. Okay, so next up, I took the cardboard strips and I wrapped it around the bottom of the branch. And believe you me when I say this, this, this actually took some time here, but it was totally worth it. Another thing is that if you cut so that the grain of the boxes are going horizontally, um, it's easier for you to create like a curve when you're wrapping it around the branch. So right before I wrap it around the branch, I would run my fingers along the grain line of the cardboard to create a curve so that it's easier to wrap it around the branch. 
as you can tell this tutorial is like very repetitive <laughs> you're gonna have to do this about another 20 or 30 more times um just get the few basic steps down and then you can watch the show <laughs> the rest of the way um i i think i went through like two podcasts while i made this tree So the goal here is to get it to a point where the diameter is as big as the opening of the container that you're going to put the, the plant in. And of course, you don't have to use cardboard, you can use plant foam or um, you know rocks or, or anything else that you think would be um, able to keep the plant upright. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't want to go out and buy more materials, I just wanted to use what I had on hand. And I was just finding a creative way to recycle Amazon boxes because recycling is cool. Okay, so I got it as close as I can to the plant pot. And uh, now I'm just cutting out little cardboard pieces to wedge it in between the, the, the circular cardboard and also the pot itself. Okay, so that was just a dry fit. So now I'm gonna take everything out and I add a nice big heap of glue at the bottom of the pot and I put the plant back in. And then I add glue to all of the cardboard wedges and then I wedge it into the pot as well. And then here I'm just going to fill it up with some um, craft package paper which also came in the Amazon boxes so I figured I might as well use that. And wouldn't you know, I have some raffia left over from another craft project and I'm just going to use that to cover up the, the packaging paper. I mean, obviously if you have bubbles or marbles or moss or literally anything can be used here so uh, don't think that you have to stick to raffia. Okay, so now it's time to attach the leaves to the branch and I am going to trim all the floral wire down to about half an inch here. To attach the leaves, I use a power drill with the smallest drill bit that I can find and I drill a tiny hole into the branch. Obviously the leaves are not going to be flat. You want it to have a little bit of shape. So I bend the floral wire just a little bit and also kind of just pull on the edges of the leaf like so and now it's ready to go on the branch. And then I add a nice little dab of glue. I'm just using a hot glue gun here and then I um, place it right into the hole that I drilled earlier. And wouldn't you know it, I repeat this step about another 20 or 30 more times. Now the goal is to have the tiny, tiny leaves right at the center, at the top of the, um, the end of the branch. And then as it goes down the branch, the leaves get bigger. Also, don't forget those little shoots that I made earlier. Okay, so you see how the end of the branch is not like tapered out or anything because I just chopped it off. And so to cover this up, I take some of the shoots and I glue it straight to the ends there. And then with the tiny little fiddle leaves that I cut out earlier, I just use that to um, glue around the shoot and it also helps hide the raw cut of the branch. Um, one last and final tip, I also like to shave off some of the bark on the twigs. Um, let's say you drilled through the, the branch and um, some of the floral wire is sticking out and you want to cover that up. I like to just take some of these little branch pieces here and I glue it right on top of the holes. And uh, a nice week later, you have yourself a, a fiddle leaf plant and um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I mean, you obviously can tell that it's a fake plant, but it doesn't have that extremely fake look to it. it it has more of an artsy touch to it if that makes any sense but i love it um the human child and the fur child have not knocked it over um actually no i lied the fur child has knocked one branch off so i had to fix it once but it was really easy and i didn't feel bad about it whatsoever um but you know now that i know that this plant can stand here if i ever want to get a real one i uh, i know where to put it so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you like it like comment subscribe all that stuff and obviously if you're gonna try this out please shoot me a photo to my instagram i would love to check it out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye